Eleven with Jenna. Eleven, eleven with Jenna. Eleven, eleven with Jenna. And Patty Loman, Patty Loman, Patty, Patty Loman, Patty Loman, Patty, woo, 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 Patty, hey, 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 Patty, hey, hey, Patty Loman, Patty Loman, Patty, Patty Loman. She's here, right here, live, right now. We're here. Can you believe it? Hi, Patty Loman. Hi, Jenna. All sparkly and stuff, and I'm all. Indian stuff. Oh, let me just. I just. Let me just go. I was putting on my necklace. Yeah, put on your necklace. So you were on last night, and you didn't. You didn't quite. They couldn't quite hear you. No, I think what happened was when the. Oh, um, I know what happened. Phone uh, call came in. Um, uh, that I thought you were on your computer. Right. And your phone. Right. But you were just on your phone. No. Because you were up. using your computer for the. For your music. Oh. Right. What's going on, everybody? See? Oops. There so we you go. Can, you can see. This is how I do it. I'll have this. I'll see the comments for you. And then you can see the comments. Who's here? I have to share. Are we Look public? Look share. Well, when you're Facebook, oh. you're public. Okay. So let me share. When you're Facebook, you're live. Okay, but William's on already. Hey, William. This is chair is really low. Oh, you want to switch? No. Hi, William. Who else is here? Jeff Metzger? <laughs> For real? What are you doing, Jeff Metzger? It's just, there look at us. Go. I feel like I'm... So we're, I've, I'm bound, oh, you can't do that. Wait, wait, this is... You can't rotate. So that's interesting that they allowed us to do that. Now they're not allowing you to do that. What's going on, everybody? And Jeff, I can't see. Let's see if I do this. Allow viewers to request or join. invite Jeff Metzger. So I've invited Jeff Metzger. We'll see what happens. Sorry, I'm all disheveled here. Patty gets here and I'm like, oh yeah, I guess it's time for the show in like three minutes. We are by O'Hare Airport and Sybilis Savage. Hey, Sybilis Savage. We're at O'Hare Airport and this hotel allows you to open the windows. I know the air is beautiful. Oh, it's like we're outside it's gorgeous. and we're watching the flight, the airplanes go by. Let's see. Where did that go, Jeff? Jeff Metzger. I approve that request and I'm sending unable to add guests. They can't join your broadcast at this time. That's weird. I wonder why not. What's that about? Hmm. Approve. I approve. Send invite. I am unable to add guest. You know, Facebook, this is why mm. I don't quite get. You know what you could do? What? You could go old school uh -huh. and you could go to Messenger yeah. and video Jeff Metzger. Okay. So? Because it won't let us approve you. You want me to go to Messenger? If you go to Messenger, Mm -hmm. And then you message, then you look up Jeff Metzger. Okay. Okay. Let me get him. Hey, Michael Keel. Hi, Michael. Guess what? I'm here with Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the same hotel room. <laughs> I have the whole window, the doors open. Oh, yeah, it's like summery here. Let's try All right. again. I, I mess now. I, what am I going to mess in I'm approving you, Jeff. What do you it's want not me to do? Ask Jeff. I, I sent you the invite. Adding. Oh, it's adding. Okay. Okay, good. Adding, adding, adding. I'll go back on. There we go. It's taking a while to add, so we may still... Oh, Melinda's oh. watching. Melinda. Hi, Mel. Hi, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Hi, Patty. Wait, hold on. We made it. We made it, it looks like. 
Hello. I don't understand my iPad. You're very quiet. And that's that happens sometimes and I don't know why. But it doesn't you know, happen you, very often with me. Patty, you could um turn on the show. The it is. And turn on the volume. Okay. And then you'll be able to hear him. Okay. Better maybe. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Patty. How come you can't hear I, me? I, I'm all the way up and I can't hear him. I'm, can you hear me? Sometimes Facebook does this on your phone. My phone, your phone. Well, I got my phone turned up. See? Loud. You can't hear him? No, I can't hear him either. Oh, wait, I'm frozen. Let me go back. <laughs> That's a good reason. Here we go. Okay. So I'll I'll listen to what she says and respond there, but it might be a mess. Hi, Jeff. So I'll I'll listen to what she says and respond there, but it might be a mess. Can you lower it a little bit? No, 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 no. There he is. Let's put it over there a little bit on that on that bed and see if it. Can you hear me? Oh, I can hear you now, Jeff. Tell her to turn that other one off. Can you hear well, me? we we were turning it off be on because we couldn't hear you before, but so whatever I, you just did, now we can hear. I didn't do anything. Well, Facebook. <laughs> anyway, what's going on? That's a better question for you. Would you came to okay. Chicago yesterday? Just blissing out on the, on the week on the Friday night. It feels like Sunday to me. Does it feel like a Sunday to you? Yeah. Are you um, going again today? Yeah, kind of. Well, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. What? Uh, why aren't you here? That's a good question. I, I that was the Patty asked because why isn't Jeff Metzger here? I said, I don't know why. We, let's ask him. It I'm was like, a lot of people. A lot of people tried to get me to come to this. Let me see. But I don't know. I mean, I had a mediation yesterday, but I think I pretty much had, had pretty much decided not to go to this. Yeah, I mean, this would have, if all, of all things to seek. Are you a big Wilco fan? No. Hi, Nicholas. But the, the set last night was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. From start to finish, it was ridiculous. Completely. I didn't get in. I got in about the third song. But we got the, but you know, I had it here, so I could was playing it all through the house. <laughs> Just and, <laughs> how's Lisa on that with that playing it all through the house? Well, let's see. How did Lisa? She was in her office working. She'd come out for some songs. She actually went with me to see the jam band on Thursday night. She did. Be, be, well, it's because she likes the she likes the keyboardist Albert, and so they talked and. He's helping her out with stuff and giving her tips, and she's. Oh right. You know, they they talk shop, so to speak. So we saw, you know, we went about forty-five minutes of um, of jam banning on uh, on Thursday night. Yeah, and so. Wow, that's uh, we longer very, than I would go. <laughs> no, they actually they, we caught him at the right, a good part of the set in terms of the song choices, like uh, how sweet it is, you know, Jerry's version and Hey Pocky Way and. Bertha and Dixie Chicken and Dixie Chicken. So it was, it was, it wasn't like a, la I know last night, at one point in time, you know, in that show, oh, I love the show last night because um, uh, I, I thought it was one of the great sets. The, it was not just that they were uh, playing so great and, and, and kind of doing it their own, but they were, they were sh shifting genres within the same song, not just shifting into a different key, they go to a different genre. The the Pride of Cucamonga that went into a psychedelic jam wow. was ridiculous. But Lisa, she, she that's where she pops out when they go into the Miles Davis stuff. You know, boom! I I can almost set my watch. I'm gonna hear about it. <laughs> it. It was it was really, and we had a great. We we got there. We got a good spot. Nobody kind of really around us and up close. It was good. It was really good. You with Gary? Yeah. Met Gary. So he, he flew in Thursday, went to a Cubs game. Met a, met yesterday here and flew back this morning at 8 o'clock. He gone. Oh, he's gone. He gone. He flew. 
Layla. So, Layla. Come on, girl. Come on, come on. Come girl, to Oh, there she is. Hey, Rob, there she girl. is. Layla. Layla, girl. <laughs> so, uh, oh, so he was, so he was out in the crowd watching. He didn't, he wasn't backstage. There was really no, there was a VIP, there's a VIP, they, they had a, a fence. A VIP, 11, 11, the Jenna and Patty. 11, 11, the oh, Jenna. They're gone now, sorry. Bye. Back to nine. There was a, the way they did it was, um, a, a, you know, that fencing, this yeah. metal fencing. They divided you and the VIP got most of the front and then the VIP, then the other. There were, it seemed like there were more VIP people there than there were non-VIP. And there so were the, three yeah, stages. Liz, my friend Liz was at the front. She got there yet, early yesterday and, and held her spot for the all yeah. day. I wanted to see other bands. I wanted to see Lettuce. I really like Lettuce. I think they're- Yeah, fun. they're good. They're really How many stages? Good. How many stages? There are three stages. And lots of, um, you, you know, clothing and merchandise. Merchandise. Okay. Merch. And then really good for food trucks. And then their food that they had, and like, I think there are maybe six other food trucks there. <clears throat> and um, the stages, oh, and then there was a big bubble, I think, where they play indoor soccer kind of thing. And they had a DJ with laser show. A lot of public oh, art, a lot of interesting. There was a, a boat, a psychedelic boat, hmm. and then some other. That's the, I mean, the music was incredible, but the actual installations were pretty groovy. It was like a, a, a warm, clean, less people, little burning man energy happening. So oh, really? that was fun. Were and the stages all outdoors? Is it all music all outdoors? All outdoors. And they were, in my opinion, a little too close to each other. And they, two of them were next to each other. And then another one over here that kind of was kitty cornered to the other two. So sometimes these two were playing and there was a little, wow. Well, and then um, St. Paul and the Broken Bones was playing during Fish's or during Phil's first set for maybe 15 minutes they overlapped and then another band came on so that in my opinion I think they should spread out the stages and then turn them that's the art of jazz fest you know they have they have them not always turned but they're not that close to each other so you don't really hear it you could right. feel the other bands there were a couple there was one band where my, I could feel my vertebrae going to, yeah, yeah. Patty's like, great, that sounds great. Wait, so is this the first of these? Is this the inaugural Sacred Rose, or they've been doing this? First time. This is an inaugural thing. That's what I thought. Inaugural. The inaugural, first one. The inaugural. The very I first. see. So who's the headliner tonight? Um. Oh, there's some guy. That someone told me is really good. J Red is playing tomorrow. Eleven, eleven. I have this. Let me look. Yeah, it, me Patty, see. do you want? Oh, she's talking to people. I was gonna say you could look up Sacred Rose, who's playing today. I'll tell you. I'm There's going three to. stages. I'm gonna see Sacred. They're within oh, 15 minutes of each other. They kind of. It's it was it's cool. It's very clean. It's very it's organized. It's not in town, but, right? It's out, isn't it outside of town a bit? What, what, what? Goose. I said it's not goose. downtown, right? Isn't it out in the suburbs? He said Goose, Rich. Oh, Goose is playing today. I still didn't uh, understand what you said, Mr. Metzger. Nice shirt. Thanks. Well, you saw Phil, so I had to, you know, I had to kind of keep it in yeah. the spirit of me. I have a terrapin crust. I was there for the opening. Oh, it's Goose. You're right. 
Goose tonight uh, and Humphreys McGee. They're both playing in different stages late. Orchard Lounge, I don't know who Orchard Lounge is. But Humphrey McGee is playing two sets at the Vega. Is that the main stage? That's the what? Is that the main stage, the Vega stage? Oh, that might be the bigger stage. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, they're playing a set early, and then they're taking two hours, and then they play the late set. And then Goose is kind of in the middle there. Goose. Okay. Rich says Goose. Was Goose. In, Goose was in uh, Southern Cal. A bunch of the peeps went to saw him at the Greek Theater last Sunday. Oh. And then Jay Rat. Who's, who's playing at 2.45 today? Hi, Mama Grace. Gotta, Hi, Mama Grace. Who's playing at 2? Why do you say 2? Why do you ask about 2.45? Because someone said, oh, you should see this person Andy, play at 2.45. Andy Frasco in the UN. Andy Frasco. Supposed, do you know? No. Supposed to be great. Are you going to go? I don't know. So how, you're in a hotel by the by O'Hare. Yeah, thank you, Gary Lambert. And how far is it to the? Uh, how far is the festival from there? It's a it's an interesting thirty minute drive. It's thirty minutes. Okay. It was sort of like, uh, it was get on this freeway, get off this, and there's lots of construction and like Mouser kind of thing last That's night. Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so tonight. Okay. Coming up but tomorrow, after that. Yeah, Jay Rad and Greenski Bluegrass is the, and, and oh, uh, is it Kamasi or Kamasi, Washington? Mm -hmm. How do I pronounce it? Kamasai? Horn player. Kamasai. Kamasai. He's, he plays tomorrow night too. He's good. Obviously. Yeah, I've seen him a couple of times. I've seen Green Sky. Green, my cousin's husband is in Green Sky. Right. right. Yeah. You ever Tim's... see Circles Around the Sun? Who? Circles Around the Sun? They play tomorrow. Yeah, I have at a festival in That's Berkeley. a. I sure. sure. That is weird. They're, they're good. That's very good. It's just it's all it's all instrumental. It's just they just start with jamming and they just do these. Wasn't that Neil Casals? Yeah, I think they, that was his they thing. They loop and do all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Better to be high for that group. <laughs> Love you just to wait. Oh, first album was called Love, You're Just Too Expensive. So it's Andy's first album. So, yeah, I mean, I have this pass. But, you know. Thank you, Gary Lambert. Thank you, Gary Lambert. It's my So you my can just pop, you can pop in and out as you want. I learned that um, earlier this summer, this is the VIP way, or the new way that they're doing shows, where they have this, this, piece right here and you go up and lay it on this thing really? and they count you yeah you well, it's a, a little uh a reader and you go up and you thump, thump, in everybody out. gets in or just the special or just the vips and the laminates in order to get into the venue did they do it at the beginning I think it's just it was just into the VIP, but when I was at Telluride, they did it for every, everyone had one. If you were VIP or regular, you this you scanned yourself in and out. This one. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's go back. Let's go. Wait, wait. Let's let's roll that back. Okay, so last weekend you were at Telluride Festival. No, this weekend at Sacred ago. Rose. So what's next two week? Weeks. No, that was last weekend. Two weeks. Wasn't ago. it? Or two weeks? Was it two weeks ago? So where do you go for Labor Day? What's 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 the festival well, maybe there? Maybe Detroit Jazz Festival. <laughs> the Detroit what? Detroit Jazz Festival. Okay, so next week in Detroit. Okay, that's cool. It's free. Detroit Jazz Festival is free. Radio frequency ID bands, according to Rich. But don't put it on your right hand because you 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 know then you're like. Or whatever your whatever your dominant hand is, do not put it on that hand. Right. Because then you. It would go on my right hand. Way. Since I'm a port side. But are you left-handed? Left-handed. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you didn't know that. I don't know. You just got. 
Uh, 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 uh. What? What? <laughs> hello? Um, hello, can you hear us? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What did you make for We're dinner, still here. dinner last night? I oh, made your favorite stuff. We made we made the we made the uh the, the dinner Favorites? that Jenna wouldn't have last night. Oh, lamb? No, beef. Was it lamb or, or pork? Beef. Oh. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Did it you was, make it potatoes? Was, Made uh, no brown rice and spinach and a s salad with uh, avocado and a f fresh tomato. The, a New Zealand guy threw in uh, they just threw in some fresh tomatoes this week. Just threw in they were delicious. You mean you got so we had you got tomatoes from New Zealand? I don't know where he's from. I just know that the bag the bag with our with our stuff had tomatoes in it. Yeah, I probably would have skipped that dinner mo all the way around. No, you would have liked the uh, brown rice and the spinach and the salad. I don't eat tomatoes. You don't eat tomatoes either. Oh. And yeah, the wine. The wine was good. You, so you would have been okay with the wine. What Italian doesn't eat tomatoes? I like, I like cooked tomatoes. I don't like raw tomatoes. Oh, okay. All right. You eat tomatoes, but they have to be cooked. It's a texture thing. Right. I get it. It's that. I get it. I, I get it. <laughs> I, I can't do tomatoes. No, I won't. I've been, I've sat down with chefs in New York, in San Francisco, and they go, but I have this heirloom tomato, and it's, and I'm like, get away with your tomatoes. And then I'll eat them because they, because they're the chef, and they just made me a beautiful dinner. But then I'll go throw up. <laughs> It's not my thing. Do you? Is there any food you don't like, Jeff? Yes. What? Beets. Beets. Oh. And ranch dressing are the top two that literally revolt like me. Beets? I don't like beets or ranch dressing. Oh. Oh. Ranch dressing, I, I can like smell from. Dressing. I can I smell that like from a mile away, and I it literally turns my stomach. <laughs> Sour cream, mayonnaise, I'm gonna, ranch dressing. Sour yeah. cream, yogurt, it's all the same kind of thing. You know, I never ate yogurt until I was in college. I don't like the texture, but it's up there with potatoes. <laughs> it's not, it's just, I'll, I like Greek, a good organic Greek yogurt, but yeah. Wait, so let me get a couple of things straight here. What? Patty, you didn't go to the music last night, right? No, I I was I did my cousin Tim, but uh, I was up to going last night, but I would have loved to have gone. You know, Tim from Sh oh, okay. Fusion, the band Fusion, is her nephew, my cousin, his cousin, her cousin, and his wife is my cousin. Right. And they they're there Wait, for so all three nights. They came in Thursday night and they're there because the band that her husband, her Brothers in plays her Sunday night. Her sister's husband. Her sister. Oh, so you're in, you're, Sunday night. you're in My Chicago cousin, because of the festival, too, right? She lives in Chicago. My cousin's husband plays in Green Sky. Wait, wait, wait. Patty lives in Chicago. Blue Sky. Green Sky. Oh, Green. <laughs> <laughs> wait, who lives in Chicago? I I live outside Chicago. Oh, I thought you lived in Michigan. No, I live outside Chicago, so I drove over here this morning to spend time with her before she does whatever she's going to do. And um, I could get a day pass to go to the festival if I, I wanted to go, if she's going to go back, but I'm not sure. I just came to say hi and have breakfast and be on the show with her and to see you. I understand. I understand. Okay, now I, now I got the whole the whole. And her Later cousin later. is married to my cousin. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, now now how it's all straight. How are you related? Um, my mother and his 
grandmother were sisters. Huh? Your mother. My and mother his... and Aunt Corrine, who lived to be a hundred, were sisters. And Corrine was friends with Mama Grace. Uh, yeah, um, Annie, her daughter, is friends with Anna, is friends with Mama Grace. And my grandfather and her grandfather were brothers. Which is why Michelle and I are related. Got it. Okay. Yeah, got it. Yeah, there's a lot of family up in Michigan that uh, my mother had, uh, there were 13 of them. So she had seven sisters and five of them settled in Benton Harbor, St. Joe, Coloma, Paw Paw, uh -huh. all that area. Yeah, I got it. Good farmland. Yeah, my grandma had a farm up in Coloma. I think we think our grandmothers were friends. Right, right. We need to figure that one out. And they hung out in the bar. <laughs> the husbands and both are, but your family had a bar too uh they, they had a meat bar? market oh meat market. yeah and my grandfather probably got meat from the meat they market. made italian sausage yeah so we're related okay. so gotcha so if you, wanted, if you wanted to fly in today i can i could you know actually the, Once you get these on, I'm with Gary. The last, the, the, the thing to see was last night of oh. that festival. No, no doubt, absolutely. That was really, that was really, really good. Just the way it that was, was just, a crackerjack. It was so fun to hear those songs, and 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 they were. And that was quite a band they put together. I mean, and and she's a great singer too. So I mean, it, it, you know, it's always good to have a good female vocalist singing those yes, songs. It is. <laughs> no question. I can think of. I was thinking. I was. I, oh, I was thinking of Speedway. I was thinking. God, talk about. Yeah, you. I mean, there's no doubt. Yeah, I'm. I was aware of what I was saying, but the. Um, but yes, for. I mean, I mean the song is I mean, much better with her singing it than when Bob sings Speedway. I mean, it's not even close. The only thing I, I'll be critical about. She just. She's kind of. She just stays in one place. Her, I've listened to other stuff that she does. Okay. It's okay. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> what happened? What are you laughing about? Rich Kutch. <laughs> what did you say? My sister's husband's cousin is twice removed from my brother's band, whose name is Brown Grass Green. Right. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Touche. Yeah, the Margot Price. Margot Price was cool. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. So why don't, you know? the featured artist. Get a gig, you know, get a gig running a, uh, a dead band for a little bit here now. Uh, I did that before anyone else did that, Jeff, like 20 years ago. Oh, I know. I know. I'm saying so, you know, go find another one now. I was in one called Dead Again. And then dead Again? Like, dead Again. Mm -hmm. Out of the Bay Area. We were seeing our favorite uh, Great North Special of the night. I was actually thinking about, at least, at least for one of the singers, I thought, hmm, boy, Jenna would be good for this what, band. What do you sing tonight? I said, that's who we saw the other night, the local band that we, who's, I think, the best around here. And I'm thinking, you know, because there's two front men, one is a good friend and the better singer, the other one is not such a great singer. I'm thinking that some of those songs, oh, Jenna would slay them. They need, they need a female for some of them, yeah. Oh, well, we'll see. I'm, I'm working on a new project. A couple of Okay. Them, I'll, I'll bite. The new one is a, it's a Warren Zevon kind of thing. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And another Look, project with my friend Elizabeth. You're going to do like a Zevon songs? Well, I've done three. Well, that's right. You've done, wait a minute. Let me think of which ones you've done. Trying to remember. Not Werewolves of London. Definitely not that one. You know, I think that one's just, I, I, there's really nothing you can do to that song. It's such a great song. Okay, remind me. It's still early. Keep Me in Your Heart. Oh, that one. Okay, that one when he died. Yeah, that one. That's a great one. Accidentally Like a Martyr. And one other one. Shit, you can't even remember it. Because that, because keep me in your heart is in my head. 
yeah, yeah, that was a tearjerker at the time it came out. That was for sure. Yeah. Well, he kept he kept going on David Letterman. Right. You know, he's dying. One more sandwich. Wait, no, no, not one more sandwich. Uh, enjoy, every sandwich. enjoy every enjoy sandwich. Enjoy every sandwich. Enjoy every sandwich. Yeah. And my ride's here. Hey, there are 13 people here. I think. Yeah, my ride here. Jeff? Yeah, my ride here is a great Maybe song. That's, that's no question. Yeah. Yeah. So I have a friend that inspired me to, to do that. I was going to do, I was going to do this other, I have this other idea of songs, but I would like to do, I've always, I love Warren Zevon. I, I would, if I could figure out a way to do more songs of his and honor them, I would do it. But I don't still, did he ever get into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? I don't think he ever did, did he? Oh, I was there last week. And so did you. Wait, in Cleveland. That's, That's Cleveland. where I was last weekend. I was at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. In Ohio. Right? Wait, in Cleveland? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so it was Telluride, then Cleveland, then Chicago, now then Detroit. Jeez, you're on tour. Not that, but you're on the you're on a the fan tour. I'm on a fan tour. Well, I played in Telluride and I sang in Cleveland because it was Dave Love's birthday party. Oh, is that why you were there? That's right. I remember you going. Okay. Dave oh, you drove over. Party. That's right. And then, um, how was that? It was a blast. His party. Why in Cle Why in Cleveland? How oh, interesting. Dave and Ruth lived in Cleveland for a long time with their children, and their best friends that in their neighborhood threw a party for him. Okay. And his friends from a couple friends from Texas came in, right. and um, Eric Scorsia, who's been on the show, who was on Corona Roki, flew in, and his girlfriend, and um, another guy that he went to school with in Texas, who lives in Tennessee, and his uncle drove from North Carolina. So I thought I can drive from Michigan. So was this a big birthday, or was it just just sixty? Big, big, 60? <laughs> 60. Shit, he's just a kid. He's a kid. <laughs> and then we went to breakfast the next day. And then I spent time with my friend Sandy and my friend Eric. And then the next day I went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I bought a mug. I bought a mug. I bought a, a Beatles mug. Who? A Beatles mug. There's a whole Beatles thing happening there right now. Do I know them? <laughs> There's a whole Let It Be thing theme happening at. at tell tell us about that band. There, I'm, I'm unfamiliar. Tell us about them. The Beatles. I'm not really a fan. Uh, <laughs> I'm a George. I love George. I love them all, but I love, George is my my Beatle. Who's your Beatle? My Beatle. Oh, it's always been Paul. Yeah. yeah. I think I'd probably go with I'd go with George or John. Yeah, it's yeah. A, it's a split between George and John, but mine's George. But if George were still here now, imagine what what music he would have created. Yeah. At least and Paul well, maybe he's it. maybe he is here. Maybe he is in here influencing some of the music that we're hearing we don't even realize that he's influencing it. So. And his son is amazing, right? Yeah, for sure. What's his name? It's, um, Danny. 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 Is it Danny? Oh, D H A N I. -E. Danny. What are you doing today, Jeff? Yeah. Another jam band. Taking Lisa. No, I'm getting ready to go out of town tomorrow. Is it? Does it start? No, we're going to North to see Keith and Gazella in. Uh, oh, where are you going? In to, uh, Pastor. Paso Robles, mm -hmm. and then Did he freeze? Um, what? And then we're going to Cambria for a couple of days. It's Lisa's birthday on what is today? Today's Saturday. The huh? Twenty seventh. Today's the 27th, that's what today's the 27th, yeah. Her birthday's on Wednesday. Nice. So we're so going to go spend two days in here. Cambria. 
Mambo Italiano. Oh, really? What's it called? Mambo Italiano. Have you been there? And she, it's, yes, and she, she um, pastry chef. So you could probably get something birthday like. Because we're looking for places, we've been looking for places to eat. It's, uh, a, it's mostly takeout. I've got one place, I've got one place reserved for her. For her. Yeah, it's uh, mostly takeout. It's called what? Wait a minute. Do you need recommendations? Well, we, I, I was looking around. There was one place I made a reservation that was called, I forgot the name of it. I got it here somewhere that looked for birthday dinner, looked pretty good. Then there's that place. Yeah, my friend. The people go and they wait all day. What's the name of that place? The, the seafood place. Oh, in Cambria? Yeah. How about I've been there? I bet we have, I've been there in over 40 years. We made a reservation at Madeline's that was supposed to be, you know, it looks oh, like fun. it's. Mambo Italiano. I think, I think like by day it's a wine cellar, by night it's a restaurant. So that one we made a reservation for. Yeah, Madeline's. It's mostly vegan stuff. What time is it? Almost. Oh, we gotta go. You gotta go? We gotta go. Why do you gotta go? Because we gotta go eat. You gotta go eat? You hungry? I'm hungry. What do you want? What are you gonna eat? Probably. What's the name of your, what's the name of the restaurant? What's the name of the restaurant? Mambo Italiano. Hey Gary, greetings from your bed. <laughs> this is Gary's bed. Hey Gary. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. Lambert. Mambo Mambo is Gary on? He's already back, huh? He left at eight. I thought he when I woke up, he was you know what, you guys? I slept last night. He we went to sleep pretty late, but he said I'll be really quiet. I go, Oh Gary, I'll hear you. I'll see you in the morning. He was gone. 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 Gone, gone, gone. Gone, Gary. Okay. Anyway, Mambo we're going to. But I can ask her. I can get some other recommendations for you from her if you'd like. Sure, that'd be great. We're going to, we're going to um... Lee Cooper's watching. Hi, Lee. I was so asleep. I love that, Gary. I think I'll stay here for a, a week. What is, can you see what? That last okay, go have breakfast. Out. Yeah, we're starving. Two women in Gary's bed. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. Comfy bed. He's loving this. Nice room. He's got to be loving this. This room is the bomb, you guys. It was, yeah, it's very nice. Oh, we should show him the, let's show him the, um, yeah, show him the rest of it. Yeah. Just, oh, I can't rotate. Once you've rotated, you can't change the thing. I've just shown this part of the room, the outside. Look at you have this big, oh, too much. Look, it's like a Hyatt. Wait, what plate, what is it? It's, it's a Sheridan. Oh, it's, it's it's oh at the okay. It's one of the big hotels near the airport. Okay, is it? That's not the one connected Dad, to the airport, is it? Grab breakfast. What's that? That's not the place it's connected to the airport, is it? It's, it's what? A, no, that's a Hilton. That's a Hilton that's connected to the airport. High anxiety, Gary said. It's very lifestyle-y and modern. Yes, it is. Oh, wait, sorry. It's a nice suite. Yeah, it's a beautiful suite. Thank you, Gary Lambert. It was, the suite was sweet. And there she is. Welcome to our pad. <laughs> okay, so I'll Thanks, be. Gary Lambert. I'll be here next. What's that? I'll be here next Saturday. I'll be here next Saturday, but then Laguna's after that. Good. Next week, you're going to be, oh, you're going to be up, okay, Cambria. I'll talk to um No, no, we'll be back. Victoria. We'll be back before the week. We'll be back before the weekend. Right. We'll after the weekend. We
And yeah. then I'm going to be, I'm going to go to California. I might be going to Seattle pretty soon, but I'll keep you posted. Lost you again. I'm here. That's weird how it keeps going on. Hi, Lee. All right, kids, we got to get down to breakfast okay. before it ends in five minutes. Five. Go, Four. go, go, go. Load Eight. it up. Two. Bacon. Jeff Metzger. Bacon everybody. and sausage, Jenna. Daddy. Bacon and sausage. Bacon and sausage. You got it. I'll eat some for you. <laughs> oh, have fun in New Haven. See you tonight. Ginger, I love you. Bye. Bye. Real hard. Love hard, everybody. Go watch the movie High Anxiety. Thank you, Gary Lambert. Safe travels.